this season, new volume. And we're getting closer to that, uh, to that, uh, that long after vacation. So we have a lineup that's um, that has actually a lot of mainstays. But most of them will be uh, will be having their finales. So that will uh, that will lessen the workload for us. But bottom line, we got another good another good lineup here. And I'm just looking forward right now to, uh, to getting really good episodes from these from, uh, from these animes and the, uh, the lineup. And I hope you guys too. So let's get on with it. Welcome to Volume 15. Welcome back to the review of the week, guys. It'll be the first review of the week for Volume 15. We're gonna have Kingdom Season 5 Finale! <laughs> it's the very first time this anime gets reviewed the week honors, pero paglaro talaga tadhana eh. So, let's get into it. Thanks! Naglalaro between chill and tense ang pacing. Why did I say this? Kasi, politika ang usapan eh. Right? Uh, they got this back and forth thing going on between uh, well, between two kings actually. So do I have complaints guys? Nah. I'm too tired to complain right now. Pero, uh, nonetheless, okay the pacing. This is the kind of pacing you would see in a political episode. No complaints about the pacing guys. Okay, no complaints. So naman, first gear shift was when uh, was when, when, when Sai Taku, yung pinakamatandang advisor ni uh, Isay, gets exposed for his backdoor politics. Why did I call it sa gearship? Eh, by simple lang. Dito nag-trigger ang episode. He violated protocol here. He violated whatever protocol is in place. Uh, whatever's in place in the Forbidden City. Second gearship was when, well, Nung tinanong ni, nung tinanong ng, uh, ng hari ng Se uh, about, his, uh, about his true intentions about unifying the Middle Kingdom, Se gives his answer. One of the most profound moments in this anime's history. You would not want to miss a single second of the sequence because of this gear shift. Kasi, dito talaga nagpupisa yung full explainer ni Se as to, um, how uh, how the Middle Kingdom will be run after he conquers, after Jin conquers it, which now leads to our final gear ship. Well, for me, this is the final gear ship. When the King of Say declare, well, proverbially declares neutrality in this uh, uh in this war. Here comes the deep dive factor of this episode. Okay, uh, this gear ship, this gear ship, um. Signifies the deep dive factor. Dito! Oh, you, you can interpret it as um, she has gained an ally, pero this is the way I see it. Se declares neutrality, and this is how much of a deep dive fest this finale was. Pero, will it be enough for you guys to totally discern? Uh, this finale with these three gear shifts. Ah ah! Dalum na ako na kung talagang uh, kung talagang wala kayo utak para sa politika and um or even at least administrative protocol or even business protocol. This is not the episode. This is not your episode. I tell you guys, if you do not buy, if you do not want the kind of deep dive test this finale will throw at you, do not watch it. If you want. If you want your brain to be picked, this finale is for you. Right? And it was an unlikely, it was an unlikely end to a, to a, to a season of Kingdom. Blood rise. Hmm. Well, I, not even a single flashback sequence. Therefore, only need some blood, guys. I mean, come on. This episode is political in nature. You. Ewan ko lang ha. Ewan ko lang kung may nakakaintindi sa 
sa sa sa politik sa well, if you're a history buff you you would you would rather watch this episode talaga talaga mag magkakainteres ka sa episode na to you would you would be you would be at all when it's really clean cut kasi if Piro would siege in a uh, uh, just a slight backstory sequence Oh, wala din tayo factor ng episode na to eh. Yun ang, yun ang sa tingin ko eh. Alright? Flashback sequences have no place in this kind of an episode. Kasi politika ang usapan. Politika ang usapan dito eh. It, you're trying to, uh, you're trying to impart to the audience the political factor of this anime. The, 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 the politics the politics side which say handles because the war side of course is being handled by Shin siya yung uh, siya yung siya talaga yung barumbado rito pero ang pinaka diplomat dito si Sei who is the king of Jin right now right just goes to show you how um, how smart of a king how smart a character Sei is totally clean plot superbly clean plot guys for uh, for an entirely political political episode, a political finale. Just goes to show you that uh, kingdom isn't just isn't just war and violence. There's also pol politics involved. Ito pinakita sa finale na to. So face all pro and plot all came together for this one. And kahit 13 episodes lang ang season 5, it had a political end to it. Oh, it, it's a breath of fresh air, this finale. Alright? <clears throat> it's a breath of fresh air. 